Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm uh, out for another overnight swag camp. Found a little spot in the Nimaji National Park. Not expecting anyone else to be here. It's more, it's not really a campground. It's sort of just a little picnic area kind of thing. Not even 100% sure whether you're supposed to be camping here, but you know, I did check in with the uh, Nimaji Visitor Centre and they said you can camp anywhere you like. So, not a campground per se. I did actually book into one of the campgrounds but I saw this on the way through and I decided to stay here instead. Nice and nice and quiet, nice and secluded. It is school holidays so I was thinking that the campgrounds might be a bit busy so I thought I'd just load up here instead. Yeah I uh, set the tarp up. Um, someone asked me in the comments how I go about setting my tarp up and you know, how I go about doing it so I sort of stepped it through as I was um, setting up so hopefully that'll uh, answer a few questions. I do use a couple of different types of tarp, you know, tarp setups when, when I come out. This is a, basically a kind of a quasi lean-to, I guess. But um, I quite often use an A-frame. I also use a C-fly from time to time, power point, and I'll uh, show a few of those over the next, uh, next you know, whenever, whenever I get around to it. But, because uh, they're, they're all quite easy to, all quite easy to do, but they take a little bit of, bit of know-how. And more about just getting them finessed. You know, that, and that comes with experience, but yeah, hopefully, I can't remember who it was that asked the question, but hopefully that answers answers the question for him. Yeah, so got the swag. Uh, there's a little barbecue here, so I'm going to cook dinner tonight. I got some uh, some lamb cutlets. Doing it tough tonight. I don't know what you know what lamb is like wherever you are, but here in Australia, lamb is insanely expensive at the moment. So I feel a little bit uh, bit uh, over the top buying some cutlets when I uh, sneak away from the family. I feel like I'm cheating them a little bit, but anyway. Uh, they'll live, they've got some nice tonight anyway. But yeah, so I've got some lamb cutlets, I'll cook them on the barbecue um, and some veggies to go with it. It's time, it's nearly four o'clock, so I've got a couple of hours of light, daylight saving finished, so sun goes down pretty early now. About 6.30, 7 o'clock, it'll be dark, so so I haven't got much time. I, uh, there's a little creek running through here, Gunjanbury Creek. Gunjabi River, whatever it's called. I'm going to go and have a bit of a wander along there, check it out. Like I said, this is just a little uh, picnic area which I've never been to. I've driven past it a million times, but never actually stopped here. So I'll kind of have a bit of a bit of a look around before it gets too dark. Yeah, let's go and have a look. got to be one of the best sounds going, right? Yeah, this is what it's all about, just coming out here, sit by a stream and take it all in. Nice little spot, there's a fair bit of uh, wombat poop around too. Be nice if I uh, had a little visitor later on. Probably not. Probably already scared him away. Haven't seen any, any burrows or anything, so... Anyway, we'll see. Yeah, well, I'm going to start losing light soon, so I'm not going to get the fire going. Get dinner on. So I'm not doing it in the dark. Got to reset the clock now, can't I? You get a bit spoilt in summer. But I'm looking forward to winter. Looking forward to the cooler weather. Shorter days. Colder mornings. Canberra gets these amazing yeah, sub-zero mornings. It's Beautiful crisp frost everywhere. Yeah. Fiddly cold, but perfectly still. And it turns into a glorious day, like 15, 16. Brilliant sunlight. Pretty good. Not quite yet though. Anzac Day is usually the uh, usually the signal for um, for frosts. In, uh, in, in the ACT, so and that's uh, next week, so not too far away. In fact, I had a look at the um, the uh, forecast, and there's a couple of 
ones and twos on the horizon. Bring it on. Let's go and get this fire on. You are uh, you're not allowed to collect firewood anywhere in the national national park. So I got a stash. Um, that property I used to be able to go to. I collected a heap heap of firewood while I was out there one day, which I keep bundled up in the shed <laughs> just for occasions like this, so I can bring some along. It's the same with leaves and stuff. You can't take anything, so I've got to bring some paper. Not nearly the same, but you know, at least I'll get dinner done. <laughs> Hope it's enough. At least we got a fire. It's pretty good. Tell all about all the newspapers are good for these days. Yeah, didn't bring much small stuff. It's all nice and dry though, that's good. Like I said, my bushcraft skills are pretty uh, pretty light on. I'd actually try and learn a few things, but when it comes to starting fire, I can do this. I do have a ferro rod, which I use from time to time, but a bit lighter is pretty easy. Ooh. Cast iron skillet. Really good. Better than anything I've got at home. I made this little, little spice box. I got a bracelet, one of these things. It's from a place called Pig and Hen. And uh, perfect size to fit nine little containers, little uh, jars, which I bought from like one of those two dollar shops. I just keep some salt and Pepper, a bit of chili, and uh, some, some just some herbs and spices. I got some uh, cutlets, so I put a few, some pepper and some salt, some fennel on it, and uh, should be pretty good. Also got some asparagus, some mushrooms, feast for a king, or for me. You know, I saw, I saw this thing on uh, YouTube a couple of months ago saying that you should squat more rather than sit um, on a chair. So if you need to do things down low to actually squat, it's good for your, good for your whole, you know, for your legs and your arms and your core. So no sooner had I heard that and uh, my wife said the exact same thing. She said she's alright somewhere too, so it must have been flavour of the month. But anyway, I've been trying it. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a challenge. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, th I do have my stool there, I'll get it out in a minute, but yeah, see so how we go. Tell you, it was a bloody nice day today. Like it's, we're six, seven weeks into autumn and it's still pretty warm. Like I said, the frosts will kick in in a week or two. But today was absolutely spectacular. There was a slight chill in the air this morning, hence why I was wearing a flanny, but um, as soon as I started running around, I got pretty warm. But you know, the sun's just ducking down behind that hill and I can feel the temperature dropping already. So it's nice to have a fire. I say, I haven't had a fire in, like a campfire in years, feels like. And uh, I'll tell you what I've done. I forgot to bring some gum leaves. You know, there's something uniquely Australian about having the smell of gum leaves on a, on a campfire. And I forgot to bring some. I've got a big gum tree in the front yard. So I'll have to make sure when some fall I'll, I'll um, collect them rather than rake them up and I'll chuck them with my stash of wood so I can bring some with me. Because like I said, you're not allowed to collect them from, a, from, yeah, from in the nature park. So yeah, I'll bring some with me next time. It's going dark very quickly. It's probably not picking up in the camera because it does a good job of pretending that it's light. But uh, yeah, sun's, sun's getting, sky's getting very dull. 
and I forgot my fork spoon thing. I am buggered if I know where it actually is. I thought it was there, but it's not. So I have no idea actually where it is, which kind of sucks. Good thing cutlets come with their own little handle. <laughs> Sounds good. Got the better of me. Pretty good. I'm really annoyed about not having a knife and fork here. Pretty good looking camp setup actually. I really like that tarp. It's um, three meters by three meters. I use it when I don't think there's going to be any rain. Although <laughs> that uh, couple of couple of weeks ago when I was over there further and I got that storm ahead of that. But usually I put the uh, 4x4 which is the green one um, up when I think it's going to rain. And this one's nice to just keep the, keep the dew off because it's going to drop down to probably 2 or 3 tonight maybe. Up here, we're up a bit higher in the mountains here so you get a bit cooler tonight. So we're going to get some condensation and don't like that on my swag. I think this might be done. Like do. <laughs> Not very good. Huh? Pretty good. Good. Every bite's like about five dollars. Actually, it's not that bad. I think it worked out about five dollars per cutlet. Lots of birds bopping around. Yeah, well that's dinner done. I've uh, tidied up and I'm sort of just about to settle in. I haven't got much light left, got about 20 minutes of light and um, there's a few mozzies around too so I don't want to uh, don't want to be out once the once the sun is right down. So I've made a cup of tea, um, about to uh, settle in. I've got my book, I've got my iPad I mean and I uh, so I've got a book to read and I've also it took me two camps to get through the first one of those Lord of the Ring movies. Yeah, they go forever. <laughs> so I'm up to the second one, so I'll, uh, I might uh, watch, I don't know, five hours of that and then get halfway through it or whatever it is <laughs> and then read for a little bit. But yeah, I, uh, I don't want to be out after the sun does drop properly. So, so I'll just hunker down in here and uh, I'll probably see you in the morning.
like an over rice hands. Ooh, morning. Welcome back to beautiful Nunavut country. Yeah, a bit breezy this morning, a bit cool. Dropped down to about, about seven degrees. So not too cold, it dropped quick and then it just stayed there. But yeah, so it was pretty snug in here. I actually got pretty warm. So I was thinking it was gonna get a bit colder. Oh. Anyway, I got up, had some brekkie, made a coffee. I don't know what I've got to plan for today. I haven't got much on today. I just skulk around for a little bit. Oh, this coffee's good. Hey, it's a bit breezy. It's actually a bit breezy all night. Tarp was flapping around a fair bit. A big chunk of bark just fell off Yeah, it took me a while to get to sleep. I slept pretty well once I did go to sleep. Wake up about five and just lay there listening to the river. Very pleasant. Yeah, well, that's my coffee almost done. Yeah, I might uh, get up and pack up the camp. Like I said, I'm in uh, the Namaji National Park and there's lots of little walking trails all around here. There's a bit of haze this morning, but it's starting to burn off and it looks like it's going to be a pretty blue, clear day. So I might um, yeah, pack up the camp and rather than head home, I might just head further down the, down the road here and uh, find a little walking trail. There's lots of little, little tracks that sort of head up into the bush. So I might go and find one of those and go for a wander and see, see what I see. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to clear up, so it's going to be a nice day today. And uh, yeah, so I might go and have a wander around, see what we can, see what we can explore. Yeah, well, that's it for another overnight swag camp. Hope you enjoyed it. Beautiful Nunawal country. Love getting out here. Just chilling out, coming out, just you know, rebooting basically. It's a good place to do it. So yeah, thanks for joining me. Thanks for staying till the end. Until next time, stay safe. news is, not even damp, no condensation. Bonus. Yeah, all packed up. See you next time.